BODS has many components and BODS designer is one of the key components. So we'll have a BODS designer walkthrough and see what are the options available there. So this is the remote system I have logged in and you can see the option is directly available here to log into data service designer or I can just click here and type in designer and click on this. I will get a login screen and I see host and port name is already there. I will enter my credentials. For authentication, you can keep it as enterprise. There are various options, but enterprise is fine for us. And we'll click on log on. So here I see many repositories are created by admin. So we have to log into our repository. Usually for various developers, admin create different repository. So I click on this and I get option of entering another password. So here we have an extra layer of security. So I will enter my password and click OK. So this is SAP Data Service Designer and this is how it looks. Before we start with the walkthrough, please understand that we'll breeze through it. We won't go into details because you won't understand all the things. You will understand once we start doing the hands-on and you will totally understand how this tool works. So I will give you an overview of this tool but won't go in detail of each section. Those sections you will understand once we start doing the hands-on. So here this is the work area. You get the option of op opening a project, creating a project, create data store. Uh, you have you know few documentations here. You can see recent projects created by other people. Here you have local object library. So these are the various groups of objects which are available under the repository we logged into user2 underscore repo. For example, here project section has all the projects. Job section has all the jobs. We have real time jobs or bad jobs available here. We can have workflow, data flow, transformations, data store, file formats, custom function, all are available here. So these sections you won't understand right now, but once we start working on it, you will totally understand what is job, what is workflow, what is data flow, and what is various transforms which are available. Here we have a project area. In this, you drag an object and then start working on it. So if I want to drag learn demo project under project area, I just have to double click here it comes here so once it is here you can see there is a job underneath and below that there is a workflow there is data flow this is the usual sequence so i will double click on this and you see the new work area has appeared and i can see the same workflow here same workflow which is available here is now available here and i can double click here or click here both the ways so this is how it works and this is the tool palette where you get a quick access to various BODS objects which are you know get used most often so I can drag and drop things here quickly and start working on it. Here we have a toolbar where we have usual option of create, opening or saving the object. We can close all the tabs once you click on you know any of the objects new tabs get created so once I click on this there is one more tab here so these are various tabs which gets available once you click on things and you can you know close them all in one shot you have various options of validation and auditing and you can go back and forth you can go to admin console you have breakpoint options so there are various options on toolbar as well and we have last part as menu bar so we have various options underneath here as well and we'll see how to use them uh, in future lectures so this was all about the BODS designer we had a walkthrough and understood this is the work area, this is the object library, this is project area and this tool palette. Along with that we have toolbar and menu bar. So this makes the BODS designer and we will go further in next lecture. Thank you.